Greetings, this is Manu Alia from uh, Continuum Global Asset Management on November 16th uh, with the market commentary. Uh, it's funny that we just put on a clip on October 19th, uh, which was captioned uh, uh, China, US uh, inflation or deflation, and it was pretty well received. Uh, we were talking about um, how most emerging countries are keeping their currencies low uh, versus the dollar and how it'll impact uh, the global economy going forward. And what we had mentioned uh, very succinctly is that as their currencies are pegged to uh, the dollar, not all but some of the emerging markets, and the US dollar is directly linked to the commodities or most commodities are dollar denominated, it would be uh, difficult for emerging countries to continue to operate on that basis because as the dollar declines, commodities start to uh, become pricier. Now this morning's headline uh, talks about Chinese inflation and how that will impact uh, the global recovery. Well, uh, lo and behold, uh, the markets are down about 200 points, give or take a few points, which means that they're down about 2%. And that's only based on um, how investors are viewing um, that the Chinese are going to experience inflation and they may not be able to continue their binge on buying commodities and, and so on and so forth. Um, to me, it's kind of laughable. I think that, uh, and I've said this so many times, I think because of the transparency in the market, because investors know so much so quickly, the reaction time has really increased. Uh, uh, not to mention uh, the high frequency trading, the hedge funds, and so on and so forth. And I think today's uh, market um, action is primarily driven by people worried about, oh, you know what, over the last two months I've gained a lot. I've gained between 7 and 10%. What's, that's what the markets have gained. Uh, and I would like to keep my my profits. So I think it's it's more of a profit taking, you know, commodities have run up a lot, so people are selling commodities. Um, again, there is a lot of rumors and you know, pertinent news about Ireland and how their debt's going to impact the European um, region. But if you rewind a year back, Thanksgiving uh, 2009, I remember uh, being in a mall with my children and looking at my BlackBerry uh, uh, phone and seeing, oh, what happened this morning? Uh, futures are down. And I realized, okay, let me go to Bloomberg and, and look at the news. And the news was that Abu Dhabi and some of the Middle Eastern areas are facing debt issues. Well, since then, uh, since Thanksgiving of last year, the markets have gained about 8 or 9%. Um, which translates to about, I don't know, two or three hundred billion dollars in capital gains in the entire market. Now, it's nothing to write home about, but if you think about, if you rewind another year and you look at the markets from March low of 2009, uh, the markets have gained almost 80%. So if you're smart, if you're patient, and you have a little bit of a longer term perspective, and I'm not talking 20 years, I believe over the next two years, maybe three years, the markets are going to return very, very handsomely for people who can look beyond the, uh, the interim inflation problems that China is facing or India may face or, you know, the dollar denominated commodities. I mean, I, we, we need to focus on where the global uh, economics is headed. And the global economics tells you one very important variable that there's about three to five hundred million people across the emerging markets, uh, Brazil, China, uh, Russia, India, uh, some of the Southeast Asian countries, Korea, uh, some of the Latin American countries, Argentina, um, Chile, so on and so forth, that have an increasing disposable income. And what these uh, people are doing is they're buying uh, big screen TVs, they're buying computers, they're buying washing machines. So we need to start to pay attention to the bigger picture and see how we can do well over the next couple, three, four, five years, as opposed to looking at, oh, uh, China just had inflation numbers 
and wow, we're going to be down 2%. Uh, without beating this uh, dead horse any further, uh, we'd be happy to discuss this in detail. Um, if you contact us via our website, which is www.cgamadvisor.com uh, or www.cgamadvisor.com. Once again, thanks for listening, and we appreciate um, any feedback, uh, whether you call us or send us an email. Um, thanks for listening again, and happy trading.